So there is this very common problem in Sweden where people insert their key into the charging port instead of the key lock which is on the other side of the bike. So we often replace this one and usually fuse brakes as well. So we have a lot of these standard DC ports. Oh, uh, now customers coming. So where were we? Usually they are, there are some glue or silicone that needs to be removed. And you do not need to worry about uh, preserving the contact because it is crap. So if you don't have time, you can just cut, cut it open. And you can see all the juicy pieces. Oh. Maybe we could have done this without uh, actually changing the charging port. It actually looked pretty decent, but it would have poor conductivity. So we replaced them and we replaced the fuse. And one thing I usually forget is adding this protective lid. And then customers get mad. Where's my lid? Did you steal my lid? No, I just borrowed it. And you want to tighten it before you solder. Solder. Usually it takes a few times to get the brick on, but I'm an expert. And if you're good, you want to align the positive and the negative so it's easy to solder them so they're not on top of each other. It's hard to get it to stick perfectly, but that's why you add hot, hot the glue. And you can heat it up while soldering. So. Now I usually start with the negative, and there we don't have fuse. And this actually goes so fast for me, it takes longer to open the battery than to fix the actual problem. It was a little dirty. Did we solder here? And now another customer. Not new fap now. Now we have the last piece. It's actually quite good to add a lot amount of silicone, but you want to be careful not to touch both the positive and the negative pole if you have not removed the fuse. And then you just add a hell of a lot of silicone to make it a problem for the next guy that has to repair this. But still, that's just dandy. 10 amp fuse. That's too much. So it's a two amp charger, so five amp fuse will be fine. 10 amps, because it's just for charging, right? Yeah, it does have another fuse for this charging. So. And hopefully the charger is fine and the BMS is fine. Hooray! I get to go home now. Thank you. If you receive a battery in this kind of case, uh, it's usually a kind of crappy case and it looks like like this. It's almost like the nickel tear. So I'm gonna add some, some glue to make sure this doesn't have additional problems in the future. <laughs> One loose battery pack is just so unnecessary. And I hate repairing in these battery packs because there are not even one millimeter extra to spare. Every wire has to be perfect or it will not fit in the case, the holder for the battery. There is just not one millimeter. Here they have smaller holders. So here you actually have a millimeter or two. So this one I would be able to repair if needed. <laughs>